on the side and we make any changes from last week? Depending. Today is the last training. Uh, we need to check one thing. And depending, maybe it can be a change. Or not, depending today. Can you say that, what, that, what that is? It's for us. <laughs> Is, is that, that a digit player? He's yeah. Yeah, so does that mean that if you have a player, you might go back to four, three, you haven't decided yet? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is for us. Tomorrow, the people will see. We don't want to, to bring any advantage. We want to, to keep what we... We know what we want to do. And tomorrow is a very important game. And uh, we don't bring to any any advantage to the other team and, and we keep what we want to do and justice tomorrow the people can see and for sure that we work very hard and we will prepare the game with a good intensity because tomorrow for us is an important game we know which is the feeling of the people here that I like about this kind of game against Manu Victory and we want to, to do a good game to try to win for to bring this to our fans. I expect there to be a lot of spite in the match considering the history and, and the first one here at Adelaide Oval with the new stands. Yeah, I think tomorrow will be a, a, a big opportunity for us for to bring more people in our game during the season. A lot of people that not come on usually to see our games tomorrow will come because it's here in Adelaide Oval because it's against Manu Victory and uh, you have this opportunity or to make that the people enjoy and have this feeling that they want to come back again to see us in Heinzmark and Coopers. And uh, this you have just one, eh? and we want to take this opportunity and to try to do a good, good thing that the people enjoy and bring more fans to our game. Have you got any chance of getting uh, Mabil mm -hmm. back from that disaster in Lima? Uh, here, like today, uh, in terms of Physically, we can use him, but uh, we have a rules, internal rules that I put in the beginning. That is a player it's a training with this team cannot be in the squad because for me it's important that have these uh, rules because everybody is important. And a player that's not training any day with us, a right to play, is not fair for the other players that are out the week here training. He will arrive. Tomorrow he will train. He don't will be at least. Just said, what did you make of Melbourne Victory's performance on Friday night? They looked very sharp. It was very good. It was very good. The game was very good. Uh, honestly, big crowd there. Good football. They win to Western Sydney. That is a, one of the best teams in our league. Now in the final of the AFC Champions League, and uh, really they, they did very well. But. Uh, we have not played from this. Uh, we I think that we also did a good game in Brisbane. We know very well uh, our capacity for and what we can do. And just we are working in this. We have our plan. And tomorrow we have to try to. Jimmy, you know the rivalry from the other side. Uh, does it make it any different coming into a match like this? Um, no, not really. You know, I think, you know, I've seen this week, you know, the. Um, the size of the game from Adelaide's point of view and you know from that point of view we're really looking forward to it you know all the boys have sort of you know know this it's going to be a big one and we're all just working hard and you know getting ready for it. Is it uh, would it mean a little bit more though given that you've played at the victory to get one over the first up? Yeah definitely you know it's obviously got a little bit more meaning to me but I, you know I think for the whole team it's a massive it's a massive game you know when the fixtures come out, we seen we had Brisbane first and you know victory second, which are traditionally two of the favourites. So you know, you know we did the, did the job on the weekend, and the boys are really looking forward to you know putting in another another strong performance and, and laying down a marker for the rest of the year. Jimmy, you expect um, given that history that that does spill out a little bit, and there is a little more aggression in this match than perhaps against another side. Um, I'm I'm not too sure. I think you know the game is going to be it's going to be played at a high high intensity, and because of that, you know there will be some strong tackles, whether it, it spills over sort of, you know, depends on the game, but we'll just stay focused on, you know, playing the way that we want to play and, and taking the game to them. Is that, uh, is that intensity reflected in the victory as well? I mean, when you were there and we're playing Adelaide this week, we want to 
really get up for Adelaide, or is it just a one-way street and we have Victorians? No, no, definitely from their point of view as well. I mean, obviously they've got the rival rivalry now with the second team in Melbourne, but you know the game against Adelaide has sort of always been there throughout the history of the A League, and and you know there's been some some cracking games. So I think you know from their point of view as well, they look look at it as a big game and and one one where there's a bit of a rivalry. So you think Muskie will maybe give one of his players a greeting card to give to you during the match? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. I think so. Um, yeah. Look, if they do, that's part and parcel of it, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really phase me, but um, yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. Is he that type of boss though, where he, I mean, not encourage mm. physical stuff, but like special attention? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so really, you know, I think when he sort of finished his career as a player and, you know, as a manager, he's a lot more, he's a lot more calculated and, you know, he's worked really hard with the, with the group he's got and, you know, he puts a lot of work into the tactics and the way they play and I think, you know, I think that side of things is more down to the individual individual player. I don't think there'll be any messages, you know, from the coaching staff themselves. What's the best way to beat the victory team though? You know a lot about their game. What do you think is the best way to stop them? Um, look, I think they're dangerous, you know, as soon as you turn the ball over. You know, they over the last couple of years they've really worked on that, the speed of, of their counter attacking play and you know but if we've got the majority of the ball and you know we're organised when we do do give it away, then you know I think we should be able to to close them down, and you know I'm 100% positive when we've got the ball, we'll cause them problems. So you know, it's just making sure that those in, in those those split seconds when we do lose the ball that we're organised, and you know that's things stuff that we've been working on, and you know on the ball I think you know we continue to play our game and we'll cause them problems. Jimmy, just on the Adelaide level, it looks like you're going to get a bumper crowd, probably the biggest ever Reds have played in front of here in Adelaide. That must be a bit of a buzz to play in such a in front of such a big crowd. Yeah, definitely. You know, as I said, I've already felt the buzz, you know, throughout the week for the game and, and all the boys are really looking forward to it. You know, we'll get a chance to go out there and train on the pitch today and and get a bit more of a feel for it. But yeah, it should be it should be a massive night. Just yeah. something to What's showcase right? the game to those who I guess don't come along to the soccer that often. Yeah, definitely, you know, and especially off the back of a good result. A good result last weekend, as you also mentioned earlier, you know, hopefully if we can put in a good performance and and the game's a good spectacle, then we'll get people coming back for some more. Gisette, is Barisha their most dangerous player, do you think? You know me, I like to, for me the team is in front of, of uh, a one player. Of course, Medici is a very good player, he's a top scorer, he's a player that for three years is showing here in Australia his capacity. But uh, <coughs> for me, if you told me, for me it's more <coughs> photo of the team. They have a good team, they know what they want to do. That one player, Medisha along with all the team, for sure that can, can do what he's doing. For me, I don't will take special care in Medisha. We are ready for to try to to be ready for this contra-attack that they play. More than one player, more than what they are doing. It looks like they're a bit more settled in defence with Del Pierre and Georgievski and obviously Valeri in the front. So maybe a bit tougher than maybe in last year. Yeah, but uh, also us. I think that uh, they will improve. If you see every single team, my feeling is that all the teams improve. And uh, this feeling also is in my team. I have also this feeling that, that we are better than last season. Just have the, uh, the pre-season game where you played the victory behind closed silvers. Was there any difference that you saw from the way they played Friday night to the way they played against you that time, or was it...? No, I think that's totally different. One thing is family, the other thing is official game. In that game, uh, I remember that uh, we had a big, big week in terms of uh, physically. Uh, also, we don't play uh, with three in the back, we play four. It was the first game that come uh, would win. Uh, now we can play with three, maybe. Different game for them also. They have some players that don't play and they don't use that week. Uh, for example, the player that comes to play here, that, that game. Totally different. One thing is friendly, that you are trying things, you are uh, uh, trying to, to, to show things that uh, maybe you can use, and, 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 and if, if you like, if you don't like, precision is for this. An official game is, is another way, another thing. I expect a total different game for his side and for our side. How much does the pitch going to play maybe a part? Because it's going to be very fast, obviously the ball's going to bounce higher. 
Yeah, this is something that, uh, honestly, you ask me, I, I am a little bit worried. We are a team that we play very good football in a good pitch. Here we just we have today for two training. We have advantage in front of them because they don't can, can train, but one day is maybe not enough. And uh, I like this this stadium with this kind of people with the grass of Cooper. <laughs> 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 That's a matter in the end, the field will be the same for both teams and it's something that uh, is equal for them and for us. Is it because the grass is shorter here, it's different? I mean, like yeah, yeah it's line. different, it's faster, uh, it's, uh, the, it's, it's hard, uh, different, it's totally different. But in the end it's for both teams, no excuse. Do you say, uh, you said it was an important game before. Is it important just because it's the victory, or is it important for your long-term aspiration that it sets you up another possible three points and going forward? Of course, the three points are important. When I mean that it's important, I don't. I, my idea is not the three points. The three points is, are very important, but you have to next week you have another three points. When I say important, is because if we want that. Uh, People in Adelaide uh, have this feeling with our team. If they, we want to bring these people to our stadium. We want that the people like more our football. Tomorrow is a good day because a lot of people that normally don't see football tomorrow will come in or they know. And tomorrow is a and it's a good opportunity for for to bring more people in in our game more than for the three points that are very important. But uh, I want that, uh, that these people in Adelaide, hey, they are playing well, they beat victory, come on and support our team. Please. Do you feel the pressure from that? Because no, no, honestly no. No, because in the end is what I asked last week, uh, if you do your job, now for example after finish this training, for me, this afternoon and tomorrow morning will be the more relaxed day in the week. Because uh, sun, sun, uh, Monday, Tuesday and today, and uh, Wednesday and today, I'm working so hard. What video is that, that now is all doing? No, the job is doing. Uh, we make the, the best that we can. No pressure because you do your job well. Uh, after it's a game, you can win or you can lose. You can do what happens if, if uh, that week, uh, I don't know. Chelo scored the first goal, maybe we, the game changed, or they don't score his own goal, the game changed. It's football.